Good evening. I've just got back from Mum's. Um, we got two large dump runs done today, and that got rid of a hell of a lot of crap. Uh, I've also bought a bunch of crap home. The Advent's come home because Mum doesn't want to use it. She prefers the XP, so that's a slow ass piece of wank anyway. So uh, that's just going to be used as parts. I might even go and bother fixing anything more. Um, stepdad went in the attic and forgot he had this and let me have it. A 301 lab, electronic lab. So, that'll be fun. I smell like a tart handbag at the moment because a um, bottle of perfume leaked everywhere in the car. I picked up that box. It needs a clean. I just thought with all these sort of compartments and whatnot that might come in useful. Throw a couple of things in the bottom just for storage, just power adapter for the doodah, that um, laptop. And this is something I'd left at Mum's a couple of weeks ago when we went to that village sale. It's an old Nokia. I haven't managed to get it to charge yet, but I'll give it another crack because you don't know. I might it could be the charger itself that's failed, but... Ooh, don't me. We'll see. I've got the toolbox to sort out. That's underneath. That's also full of some random crap. I've got plenty of um, Chinese takeaway tubs, but not lids, so... Mum had plenty of lids and not the tubs. <laughs> so, uh, a half-inch tub. Right, yeah. That's going to need a good wash out, that tub. got a lot of my tools and whatnot in it. I've got a few uh, odds and sorts to cut some turn signals. Got another one of these, which I was just in case I have to. Oh, speaking of this bike, look what I found in my bike bits at Mums. <laughs> it's all the handlebars. So I'm going to whack these on there and then fit these. The diameter of the bar is pretty much exactly the same, so it's just a matter of pulling those grips off and uh, everything else and just fitting this. I'll just cut. I've only got that one, so I'll just cut that handlebar grip off. And I thought for the Schwinn, I could possibly fit this bar. I'm not going to use a bar like that, so I bought that back as well. Yes. All my tools and crap. Actually, I don't think they're all mine, but... <laughs> Stepdad's got fucking shitloads there now anyway, so I don't think he'd uh, worry him. I don't know, I'm not really fussed about what's in it, because most of what's in there... is going to go in here. Uh, eventually. And left the day. Yeah, that needs new batteries. <laughs> batteries are gone. Oh, what, let's have a look at this. And I bought me a plank of wood back, so... I don't know if I'll stick any screws in now. I must need some in it. Here's the lab itself. Biggles rescued this from down the <laughs> recycle centre, where he gets everything from. I was going to put this lamp on. Not on the switch. I'm with my glass of flat cola. I'm only drinking flat cola because, uh, <laughs> um, that's the only one I've got that's cold. Forgot to put mine back in the fridge before I left this morning. Right. So we've got tuning. Oh, I can build a radio, can I? It's got an antenna in there. Power transformer there. Uh, clock. Or Digit LED digital display, CDS, and for the life of me, I cannot remember what CDS bloody stands for. I'm gonna, um, my stepdad can't even touch this. He only wanted it because he wanted the, um, components for his railway, but he, uh, give up. <laughs> Not on the railway, he's just given up on, um, 
other things. I've got and I've got the other electrical kit if I need any other extra wire. A little loop wire. Oh. What else have we got? Speaker terminal. So what's this? Power. I presume the speaker is actually and it's got this this is what I'd want, a little breadboard out of it. If I was gonna dismantle it, I'd take that out, but there's no point dismantling because uh, I could just leave it exactly where it is and just use the breadboard where it is if I really wanted to. Um, what have we got in these trays? What else have we got? What's this? Oh, switch. Big ass switch. Oh, hello. What are these buttons? What have we got a feeling we can make an electronic keyboard with? I'm going to get some batteries for this. Not tonight. The little batteries go there. Hell. That takes a lot of batteries. One, two, three, four, five, six. I haven't got six. <laughs> um, not all the same. I'd rather use, you know, all like a brand new set rather than mixed. Just for better performance. That's about the only reason I tell you not to mix them is just for performance. But I mean, your device will still work. Oh, I see. It slides off, doesn't it? What have we got in here then? I've got a bag. Oh, an empty bag. I have a tray full of capacitors. So I am going to put these two in three rather in here. Crystal earpiece, so I presume we can make a crystal radio. Bunch of wire. So I'm definitely not going to be short of wire, that's a good thing. And they call it a ceramic earpiece. Okay. It looks like we're missing Semi fixed resistor. No, it is in there, so I'm going to turn the bag up there. A very blurry looking semi fixed resistor. Well, it looks like the picture anyway, so I presume that's it. I'm not an electronics expert by any means. I can identify common parts, but that's about it. We've got another tray here. And apparently we've got integrated circuit, resistors, resistors, transistors and diodes all in here. So we've got a baggie here of transistors and various diodes. We've got it's actually quite an interesting electronic kit. I this wasn't cheap when it was new. We have eight ICs. I've got an empty bag. I've got a bag of resistors here. I don't know which ones they are yet. And another bag of resistors. And another bag of resistors. And a shitload of loose ones. Yeah, well, I doubt it would have been a cheap set. Get rid of that bag. Uh, da, 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 da. I think I'll keep put diodes in there like that. Uh, the other resistors I'm going to keep um, in the bags because I'm guessing they're different values. stapled shut, they've not been used. Look. A still stapled shut. That bag's not been used. I believe he's rich on the resistors. I will there's three different bags of resistors as well. I don't actually know if any of these that are loose go in there, but I've all got different so that's the one thing I don't know how to do either. 
or I've not learned them, I should say, is um, identifying the value of Aristobite stripes. Uh, I'm not that good. I'm good. I'm just not that good. <laughs> right. Certainly, uh, certainly better than the ele other electronics kit. Got the book with it as well. Going, 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 going. Control. Seems to have like a variable resistor then. That thing. That thing rather. That's tuning, so that'll be for the radio. Build my own battery radio. <laughs> 300 in one. And the antenna coil is in there. Hopefully we ex we can extend the um, like a, a wire on that for a, an antenna because otherwise that's, the reception is going to be shit. And you can send to tap the transformer as well. So would that be input? I don't know. A yeah, variable resistor. No tuner rather. That's variable resistor. I think that's what that symbol is. I don't know. I'm not an expert. I don't care either. Let's message someone back about the bike, but he seems to be ignoring me now. <laughs> Rip that shirt off because I'm getting a bit sweaty. Oh, I think. I've got most of the electrics done in the workshop now. Um, that cable I showed you that was rolled up, that I said I was going to um, poke into the wooden lean-to, that's all done and connected. What I did, instead of pushing it through that plywood that was on the wall, because um, we replaced that bit, I unscrewed the screws and took that plyboard off and pushed the um, grey cable through the hole that was made for the old cable um, through the metal out metal aluminium outer shell of the um, static home and then put the board back so it looks a lot tidier than being clipped to the outside of that board and going through two holes that and the holes weren't in line, they were going at an angle like that because I think the step down drilled up um, so yeah, that's all done. That power outlet in the wooden lean-to as well, that's done. Um, an old light fitting, or a lighting point, I should say, for where the kitchen used to be. Made safe. Yeah, I think that was it. <laughs> no electric shocks today, either, thankfully. Uh, that's pretty much it. I haven't got a clue what I'm going to get up to tomorrow. I wouldn't mind getting those handlebars fitted to this uh, little bike here. I wonder if it's meant to have tall handlebars like that in the first place and someone's changed them. So I really can't see this as actually being a kid's bike. Oh well. Um. Yeah, not clue. Uh, da, 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 cause I might do some tool sorting tonight, or I might just vegetate for another PC. Uh, actually, I'll probably vegetate in front of the PC. So at some point tomorrow, I'll want to bless you, Nemo. I'll want to sort the toolbox out. I want to get started. I'll get this silver bike up here finished. So I've got my Technic set to build when I've got a chance. Still got that other bike in the bedroom to start on. Yeah, I'm not sure of a few things to do at the moment. Actually, one thing that made me chuckle. Biggles came back with um, two bags 
and a little toy bucket thing full of die-cast cars. And they're old matchboxes and whatnot, and he thinks they're worth a lot of money on eBay, but they're not. Trust me, if they were, I'd have fucking sold all of mine by now, but they're not. None of them are boxed, none of them are mint. He might get 99p for some of them if he's lucky. The rest just aren't worth the hassle, but he'll probably look at eBay tonight and see that anyway. Because like I said, most of mine I'd have sold by now if they were worth listing, but they're not. Especially not, you know, the little ones about that big. The only time they're worth listing is if you've got the box like uh, those two up there. Maybe worth but Loose ones like this, unless they're in absolute mint condition and a sought after type, then chances are they're worth shit. <laughs> At least on eBay. Um, well, having said that, that's what it was like the last time I looked and it wasn't that long ago. I went that long ago I ate but I'm feeling peckish again I don't know whether to go and make a sandwich or not or to wait about another hour then go and get a sandwich because I'll probably be a lot hungrier by then <sighs> having a quick scroll on Facebook see if I can see anything worth I don't know talking about I can't actually work it at all, because according to the mirror, that was posted four hours ago, MPs are going to debate a second EU referendum. Well, I actually saw something the other day, and I'm actually going to say this, Yeah, I read the other day that MPs actually refused to debate the petition. Because that's what the petition was calling for, a second, pretty much a second EU referendum. Um, but according to the mirror, they're now going to debate it. But what I read was allegedly an actual response from government representatives, I can't what they call themselves now. <clears throat> so, this is why I don't trust media. Because one minute you'll read one thing, the next minute, or a few days later, I completely fucking changed it and it's something else. And as someone has actually quite rightly said, the referendum wasn't a legally binding thing. It was an opinion poll. Which means... I could just refuse it anyway. I couldn't actually find that article, but... I just find it weird that literally a few days ago or so, something like that, I read that thing that claimed 
they were not going to bother debating a second EU referendum, you know, they were just going to ignore Oh, that's not good. Dad's just messaged me saying they've upped his insulin dose. Yep. And his missus was adamant and sure he'd go back on the pills. Nope. It doesn't happen, I'm afraid. If your diabetes has got to be treated with insulin, you ain't going back on pills. Anyway. I am actually going to Google and just link it to there, but I'll do that off camera. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything else worth talking about. Mum saw the bomb disposal geared up on blue lights and sirens today, but it doesn't seem to have been going anywhere. Cause there's nothing in the news, and, and none of my... Um, Spies will say, have any idea where it may have gone? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. May have been just a training run or something. I may have been in the area and just, you know, a bit of driver training or something. Who knows? Something top secret, maybe. Anyway. Oops, sorry about that. Thanks for watching, and I'll uh, talk to you again at some point tomorrow, probably. When I start doing something. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to start doing first, but I have got a list of jobs to do. Anyway, talk to you tomorrow.